Okay, so there is a new text to image model from Audiogram, which is specifically focused on photorealism. And this model really nails photorealism. It's probably one of the best that I have seen at photorealism for a text to image model. It really blurs the boundaries between what is AI generated and what is real. Now, this model also has some of its own issues that we're going to discuss later in the video. One of the features that I really like about this model is that it has the ability to create really good landing pages, or at least mockups for that. But I think the photorealism is their main focus. Now, before showing you this new model, I want to show you how much progress we have made over the last three years. Mid Journey is a very well-known text-to-image generation model. The V1 was released back in February 2022. So this is an output from V1 for this prompt. 1963 thriller mystery screen grab, starring resemblance of a Hitchcock uh, actress, filmed in tricolors. You can see the images are really deformed and you can't really make anything out of it. Now, if you use the same prompt with audiogram today, this is what you get. It's photorealistic and it's hard to see any deformities in here. They just released audiogram 3.0. I had access to this model and I have been playing around with it and it's really good at generating photorealistic images as well as ads as well that involve texts and mockups for landing pages. This model is good but by no means it's perfect. It has its own issues and we're going to look at some of those later in the video. It's also good at following instructions specifically if those are short instructions. And just like the previous versions, this model can accurately generate text in the images, especially if these are a short text segments. And as I said, it has some issues, especially if you look at an image like this, you can see that this person has six fingers instead of five fingers. Now, most of the initial text to image models had issues with generating hands. This one is, I think, a lot better. Although in some cases you will notice some deformities, but overall, as I said, it's really good at photorealism. Okay. So in this video, I want to compare the outputs from audiogram uh, 3.0 to some of the prompts that were tested on GPT-40 image generation model and the Imagine 3 model. So we're going to do a comparison of audiogram 3 with image gen and the GPT-40 image generation. Now, for a text-to-image model, the audiogram 3.0 is really good. However, when it comes to multi-chat instruction following, it's not as good as GPT-40. Although, to be fair, if you look at this output from GPT-40 image generation, this is extremely impressive. However, this is best of eight. So they had to run this prompt eight different times and then they picked the best out of it. Similarly, this one is again best of eight. So we're going to start with simpler things first. So here is an image from the image in three, which is a model from DeepMind. When I use the same prompt with audiogram three, here's the output that you see. Now by default, it generates four different outputs. All of them are highly detailed and they follow the prompt exactly the way we described. So the prompt that Google used is really detailed. Now, Imagine 3 has this option, magic prompt on. I, for, for most of these outputs, I kept it on auto. So it actually changes the prompt and then generates images on this modified prompt. Now, here is a photorealistic image from Imagine 3. And here's the output from Audiogram 3. So whenever it comes to photorealism, it does a really good job. And this is with that magic prompt disabled. So this is following the exact same prompt that we provided. Okay, a couple of other things that I have tested with this model are the text generation capabilities, which, is, which are really good, especially if you have short text in here. Here's a prompt, single comic book panel of a boy and his father on a Grassy Hill, staring at the sunset, a speech bubble points from the boy's mouth and says, the sun will rise again, muted 
a late 1990s coloring style. Let's see what the output looks like. Okay, so here are the outputs. And this is again with the magic prompt disabled. And you can see that it's able to render the text correctly. So this is with magic prompt on. Again, it has no trouble rendering the text correctly. And as I said, it can create mockups as well. So I'm going to ask it to create a modern web app user interface designed for a meal tracking application. Now we're going to change the orientation and let's keep the magic prompt on. So let's see what happens. Okay, so here's the output and this is where you start seeing some of the issues. So overall, the layout looks really good. The titles text is usually right. But if you start putting more text in the image, which in this case, it had to just generate a text, but none of these makes actual sense. Now, if you actually provide the text and you ask it to put the text, sometimes it's able to do a good job at it. So here is an image that is generated based on one of the prompt that was used by the OpenAI team. Here is the original prompt, magnetic poetry on a fridge in a mid-century home. Line number one, a picture is worth a thousand words. These are different lines. Now the prompt itself is very clear on what exactly we want. And here is the output that was generated by GPT-40. Again, this is best of five. Audiogram does this. A picture is worth a thousand words, but sometimes in the right place can elevate its meaning a few words, right? Now, this is the first image that it generated. However, if you look at the this image, the text is right, but these are not magnetic strips that we asked for. Similarly, here's another one. Now, this added those magnets, but the second line, you can see the text is not right. right? So if the, the text becomes too much, sometimes it has issues. But I would say like two out of four images are exactly what we want, especially this one and this one. Now the previous version was with their magic prompt on. When I turned it off, here is the output I get. All right, so the text seems to be correct on this one, but those are not magnets. For the second one, it has the same issue. For the third one, this seems to be a magnet, but there are issues with the actual words in some places. So it seems like the magic prompt actually um, does help a lot. Now let's look at a few cases in which it fails compared to something like GPT-40, which is LLM, not a text to image model. So it has a much better understanding of the world compared to something like a dedicated text to image model like Audiogram 3. So here is a prompt, an infographic explaining Newton's prism experiment in great details. And again, this is best of three, right? but the experimental setup and the explanation is correct. Now, here's the output from Imagine 3 before looking at Audiogram 3. Now, you can see that visually the explanation will seem correct. However, if you look at the text, it does not make any sense. And the reason is that this model doesn't really have word understanding or understanding of the working principles of the PRISM experiment. And we see a very similar problem with Audiogram 3 as well. It is able to create visuals, but then it's not able to explain it because it's not an LLM or a vision language model. And in these cases, specifically for infographics, usually the title makes sense, but the rest of the text is not legible at all. Okay, one more thing that I want to try is to recreate this image which I think is going to be extremely hard for something like audiogram, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so I actually rerun the same prompt within Sora so that we get a really good representation of what a single shot generation could look like. Now, if you look at this, the text is correct based on what we provided. So it says transfer between modalities. Suppose we directly model probability of text pixel sound with one big autoregressive transformer and the rest of the text also makes absolute sense. Now, here's the output from Imagine 3. In this case, the text does not make any sense. So you can see transfer between the and then modalities, right? So it's not able to render, render the text at all. It does have San Francisco in the background, OpenAI, even though the logo does not make any sense. 
here's the output from audiogram 3. So you can see the first line is usually correct and after that it starts breaking down. So it's not able to keep track of where to place the text or follow the position of the text. However, the photos themselves look photorealistic. You don't really see any deformities in the images that it generates. Now also this model is relatively flexible to work with. So it will render images of celebrities and people if you ask it to. So here is Elon Musk as a Terminator. Now apart from the issues or comparison that I showed you with GPT-40, I think overall this is a really good text to image model especially for its photorealism. It can also generate images in different styles. Okay, before we wrap up this video, I want to show you two more things. One of them is going to be something that hopefully you will find very interesting and you can experiment with this with any image generator. So usually what I do is I will provide an empty prompt or just a simple dot and I want to see how does these diffusion models work with something like a single dot, right? So you can actually ask it to generate an image for you. Now, here's what it came up with. So it generated four random images, especially this one looks photorealistic. The car looks pretty real, right? And even this one with the boats. And I tried the same thing with Sora as well. So here are four different images that it came up with. This one definitely looks very real. This is a painting and potentially another scenic image. Now, when I tried to use the same technique with Imagine 3 from Google, this is the only one it says there doesn't seem to be anything here. Try a different prompt or check out our content policies here. So it seems like it triggered some sort of a filter or it didn't find any prompt, right? So even if I add more dots, it doesn't seem to be working. So this is just something that I like to test out with these image generation models and the results always amuse me. Now Audiogram also have a lot of different features apart from this new model and one of the thing is upscale. So you can just select an image and then ask the model to upscale it for you. Okay so here's the upscaled version. And you definitely see a difference between the original and upscaled version. It has definitely improved the quality. So that's yet another feature that you can test out apart from the new Audiogram 3 model. Anyways, I think if you are looking for an image generator to generate photorealistic images, it's definitely a, an option worth checking out. They do provide a free account. So play around with it. It can generate images which some of the other image generators will not do. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.